Hello everyone, this is Mr. Reyes once again. I am here to guide you with our lesson for today. Our learning objectives for today. The learner generates a formula for finding the nth term of arithmetic sequence. The term means the nth term and arithmetic means of arithmetic sequence. Solves the common difference using the given two terms in arithmetic sequence and determines the general term of arithmetic sequence. Our warm-up activity for today is match and learn. Below are squares formed by matchsticks. I want you to count the number of matchsticks in each figure and record the results in the table. You may get your own matchsticks and then record your findings. Follow a pattern that is to be discovered so that you can totally feed up the table. Pause the video and complete the table now. So how did you find the number of matchsticks? Yes, it depends on the number of squares. What is the difference between any two consecutive number of squares? If you notice a difference of 3, that is correct because 3 matchsticks are being added per additional square. The number of matchsticks forms an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3. We could change the table this way in indicating the a sub n. And finally, we could change this way Notice that if we have 2 here, use 1 to multiply. If you have 3 here, use 2 to multiply. If you have 4, then 3. If you have 5, then 4. How about the a sub n? If n is here, you will need 1 lesser than n here, so you have n minus 1. So where n minus 1 will be used in the final formula for the arithmetic sequence, which is first term for the a sub 1 plus the common difference d multiplied by n minus 1. The formula for finding the nth term of arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1, where a sub 1 is the first term, d is the common difference, n is the number of terms and a sub n is the n or the last term. Let us try an example. Find the 8th term of the sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, and so on. And here's our solution. Obviously, the value of our n is 8. The common difference is 5. We can get the 5 by 8 minus 3 or 13 minus 8 or 18 minus 13. Plug in to the formula for the nth term. So we have a sub 8 is equal to 3 plus 5, then quantity 8 minus 1. And in the long run, you have the a sub 8 equals 38. Next example, find the 100 yet term of uh, 4, 7, 10, 13. Our solution, the value of n is 100. Our first term is 4, and the common difference is 3, because 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3. Our formula for getting the nth term is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. Substitute the value of n, which is 100. Substitute our a sub 1, which is 4. Substitute our common difference, which is 3. So we have 4 plus 3, quantity 100 minus 1. Then 4 plus 3 times 99, then 4 plus 297, then the final answer is 301. Find the 10th term of the sequence 14, 9, 4, negative 1, and so on. Pause the video and check your answer later. And the answer is negative 31. Did you get it right? Well done! Here is additional formula. If we have given two terms, 
let us say represented by a sub b is equal to x and a sub c is equal to y, the common difference can be solved using the formula below. d equals x minus y over b minus c or, or y minus x over c minus b. Example, find the common difference in an arithmetic sequence if a sub 12 is equal to 20 and a sub 18 is equal to 44. Plug in the values, common difference is equal to 20 minus 44 all over 12 minus 18. So you have negative 24 over negative 6. So therefore, the common difference is 4. Example, find the common difference in the first term in an arithmetic sequence if a sub 12 is equal to 20 and a sub 18 is equal to 44. Number 1, get the common difference. This is our problem a while ago. The common difference is 4. For the second one, we are going to get the first term. By analysis, we can use the a sub 12 or you can use the a sub 18 if you want. If I'm going to use the a sub 12, I need to go back 11 times of my common difference for me to reach that first term. So again, substitute that a sub 12 which is 20 and I need to go back 11 times of my common difference for me to get that first term from the original sequence. So therefore, 20 minus 44 is equal to negative 24. And our first term is negative 24. Another example, find the common difference in the first term in an arithmetic sequence if a sub 6 is equal to 45 and a sub 13 is equal to 3. Pause the video and check your answer later. And the answers are, the common difference is negative 6, and our first term is 75. Did you get the answer correctly? Well done! And for the others, I want you to go back with your scratch and try to figure out your mistake. You can do it. Another example. Find the common difference in the 22nd term in an arithmetic sequence if a sub 15 is equal to negative 15 and a sub 19 is equal to 29. Pause the video and check your answer later. In our common difference is 11. In our 22nd term is 62. How did we get the 62? Notice that our a sub 19, the given a sub 19, is actually 3 steps forward to the 22nd term. You need to step a 3 or 3 steps from a sub 19 for you to arrive at the 22nd term. So meaning, you need to multiply the common difference by 3 times. And for that, you can arrive at the a sub 22 which is the 62. As simple as that. Just get that trick and that will minimize the solution. Another example. Which term of arithmetic sequence is negative 57? Given that a sub 1 is equal to negative 2 and a sub 2 is equal to negative 7. Since our two terms are consecutive, we can say that our common difference is simply a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to negative 7 minus negative 2. And that is equal to negative 7 plus 2 which is negative 5. Therefore, our common difference is negative 5. Solving for the position of the term that has the negative 57, we can use a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times the quantity n minus 1. Substitute everything and then you will have the value of n is equal to 12. So therefore, 
negative 57 is the 12th term of our arithmetic sequence. Another example, which term of arithmetic sequence is negative 74? Given that our a sub 1 is 6 and our a sub 10 is negative 30. I want you to post the video and try to solve this problem and check your answer later. And the answers are the common difference is negative 4 and the value of our n is 21. So therefore, negative 74 is actually the 21st term of our arithmetic sequence. Did you get it correctly? Excellent job! And for the others, go back with your solution and compare with our solution here and try to simplify your work. You can do it. What is the general term that will satisfy the given arithmetic sequence 2, negative 8, negative 18, negative 28, and negative 38? For the past lesson, you, you are required to give the general equation of a certain sequence. But this time, we will now apply the generated formula for the arithmetic sequence. But before that, compute the common difference first, which is negative 10 and substitute to the formula which is a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus d and then quantity n minus 1. We have a sub 1 equals to 2 and the common difference is negative 10 and then bring down the n minus 1. And in the long run, you have a sub n is equal to negative 10n plus 12. I want you to check whether that equation permits our a sub 5 equals to negative 38. Substituting everything, we have a sub n equals to negative 10 n plus 12. Substitute the n equals to 5. We have the final answer of negative 38. So therefore, the general term or the general equation is a sub n equals negative 10 n plus 12. Here is the challenge. What is the general term that will satisfy the given arithmetic sequence 10, 21, 32, 43, and 54, and so on. Post the video and check your answer later. And the common difference is 11. And our general term is 11n minus 1. Checking our a sub 5 is equal to 54. And that satisfies our general term of 11n minus 1. Did you get it right? Well done! And for the others, just keep on trying and try to validate your work with my solution. Some problems in arithmetic sequence is for you to find the arithmetic means. Arithmetic means are the terms between two terms of arithmetic sequence. Thus, the arithmetic means of a sub 6 and a sub 10 are a sub 7, a sub 8, and a sub 9. To get the arithmetic means of a sub 20 and a sub 27, those are a sub 21 up to a sub 26. We also have this single arithmetic mean. This is simply a term between two terms in an arithmetic sequence. We can solve the arithmetic mean between two terms by just getting the average of the two terms. How to get the arithmetic means of arithmetic sequence? First thing you will do is to write the sequence, leaving blank spaces for the missing means. So we have, for example, insert three arithmetic means between 7 and negative 9. So we have 7 blank 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 and the negative 9. Next is to determine the values of a sub 1, a sub n, and n. Now obviously our a sub 1 is 7, our a sub 5 is negative 9, and the value of n is 5. And substitute that to the formula for the n term of arithmetic sequence, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d, and then quantity n minus 1. 
Substitute all of those. So we have negative 9 is equal to 7 plus quantity pi minus 1 and then times the D which is still unknown. The next part is for you to simplify the value of the common difference. From our example, negative 9 is equal to 7 plus 4D and then negative 4D equals to 9 plus 7 then negative 4D is equal to 16 so our final answer for the common difference is negative 4. So at this point, we are now going to write the sequence by adding the value of the common difference D to each term to determine the next term. So from the very start of 7, we will add negative 4 and then you will have 3. And then add another negative 4, then you will have negative 1. Then add another negative 4 and then you will have negative 5. And then add another negative 4 for you to end at the last term given which is negative 9. So therefore, the arithmetic means of 7 and negative 9 are 3, negative 1, and negative 5. Here's an example. Insert. Here's an example. Insert for arithmetic means between 4 and 54. The first thing you will do is to make the spaces or four spaces between 4 and 54. And the next is to identify the value of a sub 1 and the a sub 6 and the value of n. Then later, we are going to substitute with the formula by finding the n term of arithmetic sequence. And performing all the expressions here, you will arrive at the value of d which is equal to 10. This 10 will be needed to add with the first term. So 4 plus 10 is 14. And then 14 plus 10 is 24. 24 plus 10 is 34. 34 plus 10 is 44. And to check, 44 plus 10 is 54. So therefore, the four arithmetic means of 4 and 54 are 14, 24, 34, and 44. Another example, we have to insert five arithmetic means between negative 9 and 9. Our solution, we have to prepare a five spaces between negative 9 and 9, indicating that our a sub 1 is negative 9 and our a sub 7 is 9. We could actually use the formula a while ago about the modified way in getting the common difference. Plug in those uh, negative 9 in 9 and then for the denominator 1 minus 7. So we have negative 18 over negative 6. So therefore, our common difference is 3. And you are going to use that common difference to add it to the first term. So negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, and to check, 6 plus 3 is 9. So therefore, the 5 arithmetic means of negative 9 and 9 are negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3, and 6. And here are my last 3 exercises. I want you to post the video and try to solve and check your answer later. And the answers are... Did you get it correctly? Well done! And for the others, I want you to go back with your work and try to come up with the right answer. You can do it. And for our next meeting, we will be solving the sum of those terms or specific terms in arithmetic sequence. We can apply a formula. We will generate that formula first before applying it to a certain problem. And let me close our discussion with this quotation. You made it to the end time. Let your end be your best end. Just keep moving and practicing. And also, be productive at home. It's time for you to perform some exercises in your module. And please submit your work on time to your subject teacher. 
Till next time and have a good day.